Hello, everybody, and welcome to Iceberg to Go, your daily dose of Pittsburgh Penguins news and analysis. You can find us on YouTube at Inside the Penguins or anywhere you get your podcasts from. The Pittsburgh Penguins have put themselves in a tough position out of the gates this year. They're 3-6-0 and on the season, and that has them in dead last place in the Eastern Conference as the calendar flips to November. But with the flip of the calendar comes a little bit of a flip in the schedule for the Pittsburgh Penguins as they set out for a three-game road trip in California. The first true road trip, as we talked about earlier today on the tip of the iceberg, the first true road trip of the 2023-24 season for this group here. Now, in Sullivan's tenure, the Penguins haven't exactly been extremely successful in this California road trip. They are 8-9-1 and one under Mike Sullivan in his tenure in California. Fortunately for them, though, they have been a little bit better over the past two seasons. 4-2 and two on the road. The only loss is coming at Staples Center, Crypto.com Arena, whatever you want to call it, against the LA Kings. So an opportunity for them here to get back on the right track, and when they come back, there's going to be a lot of Eastern Conference contenders that come through town. They play the Devils. They play the Hurricanes. They play the Rangers. I believe they also play... The Toronto Maple Leafs at some point here in November. So the schedule picks up a little bit more when they return from California. But before they left, they had one treat left over from Halloween for the Pittsburgh Penguins faithful. It looks like they're making a small adjustment to the lineup as Vinny Henestrosa took line rushes earlier today with Matt Nieto and Nola Chari on the Penguins' fourth forward line. And for those of you that definitely know what that means, especially if you clicked on this link, that means Jeff Carter was practicing on the extra defense pair with P.O. Joseph and is likely to be a healthy scratch on Saturday night when the Penguins open up this road trip against the San Jose Sharks. Something that has been a long time coming, it feels, for the Pittsburgh Penguins to do. This could point to that healthy scratch for the first time for Jeff Carter, something that when you look at his performance throughout this season is warranted. It's not just a, the fans have been pleading for it because the fans don't like Jeff Carter thing. It's not just a, Hey, you need to make a change. And Carter's the guy to come out of the lineup through nine games this season. Jeff Carter has zero points. So too do Matt Nieto and Nola Chari, but Carter seemingly has dragged that line back a little bit. I'm not saying you take him off and this line's going to turn into the HBK line of 2016, but we saw what replacing one singular player could do for an entire line earlier this season when Jansen Harkins was sent to the, w- the Wilkes-Barre Grand Penguins of the AHL and Redeem Zahorna was replacing him on the third line. So maybe we see that again with Jeff Carter being replaced by Vinny Henestrosa, who we'll talk about here in just a second, but... Zero points for Carter through nine games, six shots on goal, averaging 10.35 of ice time. So it's not like they expected him to do a lot more. It's not like they're putting him in a position that he's not comfortable with or in a position that he shouldn't be in considering the the period he is in in his career. 10.35 average ice time is lower than everybody but two players on the Pittsburgh Penguins this season. That's John Ludwig, who left halfway through his first game of the season and hasn't played since, and Jansen Harkins, who played the first four games of the season, quickly found his way into Mike Sullivan's doghouse and then was sent up to Northeastern Pennsylvania for his troubles. And then it's Jeff Carter. He's played in every game. They're trying to put him in positions to succeed, but it just hasn't worked so far. This is the only recourse they can take, is putting him in the press box. And it's exactly what they're going to try to do on Saturday, or at least it's expected as to what they're going to do on Saturday based on practice earlier today. He's not going to get traded unless he wants to be, right? He has a full no move, no movement clause, which means not only can he not be traded unless he waives it, he can't be sent to the AHL either. He can't be placed on waivers, and no, he can't be bought out. So this may not be a permanent change for the Pittsburgh Penguins, but it shows that Sullivan is at least finally willing to scratch him. He didn't do it at all last season. He was never a healthy scratch last season. And he was performing just as poorly last year as well. He didn't do it at all through the first nine games. 
So finally you see him start to recognize that something needs to change on that fourth line. The first player to go is Jeff Carter, but if the line doesn't get any better with Vinny Henestrosa, you might see Carter go in for somebody else. You might see Matt Nieto take a seat. You might see Nola Chari take a seat. Do I think that is likely? No. But this is not a permanent solution for the Pittsburgh Penguins to have Jeff Carter sitting in the press box every single game. It might be their only recourse if he is the weakest link, but it might not be a permanent solution. Really quickly, let's look at Vinny Henestrosa because he's likely who's going to fill in on Saturday for Jeff Carter. Signed him to a one-year contract this summer. Has four points in five games this season at the Wilkes-Barre Scranton level. Has two goals and two assists of those four points. And what he brings, according to Mike Sullivan, is speed, a little bit of grit, and a little bit of a scoring punch to the fourth line. The fourth line hasn't produced any points. So a little bit of a scoring punch is certainly an improvement on what we've seen through the first nine games. The Penguins, as we've talked about extensively, need more secondary scoring. Third line, fourth line, defense, right? They need that. Hinnestroza might be able to bring that. I think Nieto and Hinnestroza, their speed on the wings is going to be an element that teams are going to have to get used to, an element that's going to be different from with having Jeff Carter on that right side. And I think with Nola Chari being able to be that net front presence, these other two guys are going to be able to cycle and maybe create a little bit more offense than we saw with Jeff Carter on the ice. At the end of the day, it is one roster move. It's a roster move I'm sure a lot of people are happy to see, but we have to see how it plays out. I'm excited to see Vinny Henestrosa make his Penguins debut. I'm excited to see what Nola Chari and what Matt Nieto look like with somebody else on their wing. If it works out, that's great for the Pittsburgh Penguins. I'm not sure what you do with Jeff Carter at that point. Maybe you just keep him up in the press box for the remainder of the season, but that's a long time to leave three point whatever million dollars up there eating nachos and drinking Bud Light Platinums. But we'll see what happens. At least we see some moves being made with the three and six Pittsburgh Penguins. They're going to maybe need to make some more if things don't turn around because the schedule, as I mentioned, only gets harder from here. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to this brief little update episode of Iceberg to Go. Remember, you can find us on YouTube at Inside the Penguins or anywhere you get your podcasts from.